treatments vary. Uh, when it's skin-based, it can be local treatments, skin-directed treatments from excision if the anaplastic large cell lymphoma is just a localized nodule. It can be radiation therapy, it can be topical creams, or it could be systemic depending on the extent of skin involvement, uh, systemic from any from oral pills, injections, or intravenous infusions. In a single lesions, um, the treatment can be radiation, localized radiation can be excision or can be injection with a steroid. The radiation is given fractionated over several days um, until um, a full dose is reached. Excision can also be done and has been done in patients and uh, injections um, as well. However, there is a slightly increased risk that the lesion comes back with the excision and the interlesional injections. Radiation um, has shown a little better outcome because radiation treats not only the lymphoma, it treats a little bit uh, the area around it to, make, to prevent the risk of coming back too soon. If you have many, many lesions, um, radiation and injection or excision really wouldn't be ideal. So there may be a systemic therapy uh, indicated. Primary cutaneous anaplastic large cell lymphoma is usually just one lesion. About 30% of the time it'll go away on its own. So if we can be very patient, we don't have to do anything. In the other cases, usually you would have radiation therapy uh, to that area to make it go away. In theory, you could surgically remove it, but again, that leaves a, a scar, you know, instead of a lesion, so it's not that desirable. Sometimes people have more than one lesion, and there's actually a drug called branduximab vedotin that will treat conditions that have CD30 on their surface, just like this does, and it's an intravenous drug. Anaplastic large cell lymphoma can relapse, and when they do, they're treated more or less the same way as the additional lesions providing that those relapsed or new lesions show no difference than the, the initial lesions. Side effects to treatments uh, typically are minimal when the treatment is localized to the skin, and usually the benefits far outweigh the risk, whether it be radiation therapy or surgical procedure or uh, the uh, uh, topical uh, creams that may or may not be used. The side effects are um, according to the to the treatment, like if you have localized radiation, so you have local side effects, uh, such as uh, redness, um, itchiness, burns, similar sometimes to like a sunburn, severe sunburn. Sometimes the skin gets really rashy and sometimes um, you lose uh, the superficial layers of the skin because of the radiation. Um, a long-term side effect of the radiation could be that the skin changes its pigmentation, so it may be darker or lighter. Um, sometimes this goes away and sometimes it stays. Sometimes you lose hair in the area that's treated. With excision, you do have a scar. Um, the side effects are really more related if you get uh, infections um, following an excision, which shouldn't happen. If someone has a lesion that requires radiation therapy, uh, to this primary cutaneous anaplastic large cell lymphoma. They will go to a facility usually Monday through Friday. The treatment will be shorter than parking the car and changing their clothes. They'll get radiation therapy. They can't feel it. Uh, maybe the skin might get a little irritated and the lesion will go away. If another lesion comes up and doesn't go away, they may have the same kind of therapy. If someone has many lesions and they get different treatment, for instance, Brentuximab vedotin, that's an intravenous therapy. And it's a situation where a chemotherapy has been attached to an antibody. So you do get some side effects like chemotherapy. Occasionally people will get some hair loss. Occasionally they will get nauseous or have their blood counts go down. And probably the most common thing that the physician will monitor for is what's called peripheral neuropathy. That means numbness or tingling of the fingertips or toes. And this is a drug that's given every three weeks. So every three weeks, these things, these side effects will be monitored by the physician administering the drug.